What's going on, y'all, man? Back with another video. I wanted to make a quick video showing y'all some of the shortcuts I use so to help your workflow, uh, make you work faster, you know, make everything run smoother for you. So, cooked up this little beat just to show you guys uh, some of the shortcuts that I use. Cooked it up already just, you know, to make the video run smoother. I'll go ahead and play it for you, let you guys check it out. Something simple. So some of this y'all might already know, some of it, some of it you might not know. So first off, you want to select everything. I'm using Mac, so I could just go by Mac. I'm sure it translates to PC as well, but Command A is how you select everything. So that's let's get that out the way. You probably already knew that. Another thing, you want to copy all this over to the next section. Hit Command B. And it'll copy all of it over. See how I duplicate it? And then you just want to bring the loop back here so it'll play from the beginning but that's how you copy everything oh see see how the, the hi-hats got left off another thing you could do right here when you got the hi-hats in the ghost notes right there right click on the hi-hat so if you're on mac click with two fingers or right click and I click twice and then it'll automatically take me to that uh, screen, to that instrument. So once again, Command A and then Command B. I'll see, Command Z. See, I went over too far. I'm gonna Command Z to undo that. All right, let's try, let's try this again. And I'm gonna tell you why I did that. It did that because I had the loop way over here from the last thing that I copied. So any as far as you have the loop, which is the red bar, it's gonna copy all of that. So let's bring it back here. And now let's find the hi-hats. Now command B. See how that works. So that's a that's a fast way you guys can uh get that double like that. But I still don't have all the instruments in there. But that's cool. For the purposes of the video, that's cool. I don't have to switch it up anyway, switch up the sound. Okay, cool. So double click on that. Another thing you guys want to do, Command A, you want to strum your notes to make it sound more realistic, like so all the notes don't hit right on the bar. It's Option S. Then it'll strum. You just mess with the strength right here. See, these notes are kind of already strummed, but just mess with the strength on how, on how much uh, you want it off of the center, and then hit Accept. Mine are already good, so I'm gonna just exit out. Cool, cool. Next. Another one I got for y'all. If you wanna move stuff an octave. So I'm I'm using command right now to select the note. So I'm holding down command and then dragging to select as much stuff as I want. So I just wanna select this note. But if you wanna move it up or down an octave, hold down command, and hit the arrow up. See how I moved the C to C6. Now I C5, C4. Hold down Command, hit the up arrow. Move it back to C5. We're going to keep it right there. Cool, cool. So, everything's still playing the same, of course, as expected. Another one I got for y'all. Command A. Highlight everything if you want to shift stuff a little bit. Hold down Option, and hit the right arrow, and it'll shift the notes. I mean, you could do this with, you know, everything that's selected, or you could just select certain notes that you want to shift. If you want to shift that, hold down Option, move it to the left or to the right. So that's one way to do that. Cool. So now that we got that, let's see what we got next. Velocity. So you're going to use Command A for a lot of stuff to select everything. So Command A. Y'all should already know Command Q. That's to quantize. Okay, now all your notes playing, you know, right on the bar, right on the grid. Sometimes that's good. Sometimes you don't want it like that. If you play it good enough, sometimes it's better to just leave it natural. 
if you play it good enough, sometimes it's just better leaving that. So I'm gonna undo Command Z. And this stuff is just to make, you know, help you guys work faster. Like I say, some of it you might know, some of it you might not know. Okay, cool. We got that out the way now. Velocity. You're gonna do option R. And what we're gonna do is that that's gonna randomize your velocity right here when you mess with this. You could you could mess with other stuff as well. Pan. I'm not even gonna get this is pitch. I'm not even gonna get into the uh XY or the release, but velocity right here is what we're focusing on. So you want to randomize your notes to make it sound more realistic like it's being played because if you play an instrument every note is not going to hit at the same uh like the same strength the same velocity and it's not all going to sound the same like even how it is when we click it in so this is to make it sound more like it's played more realistic so you just randomize your velocity with this uh knob right here then you can hit accept then now you got the velocity randomized See another thing I got for you guys right here. So let's double click on the hi hats. So let's just say let's just do this first note right here, or we'll we'll do this one. So we'll drag this out, and then let's say we want to make a chop right here. Just hit Command, select this note, then Option U. It's gonna bring up the chopper, and then however you want it, you can mess with the time right here. So you want only two notes, or four notes. Or you know eight. Just mess with that. So I think this will sound good. So let's try it. And that's a quick. That's a quick way to do your hi hat chops. You know. And then you drag it down. Whatever you want to do with it. Mess with the velocity. Is one thing I like to do. Another one I don't know if you guys know. Another way to just to copy, you probably already know. Hold down shift. Hold down shift and drag this over. Now it's copied. Now you can let it go. Then you can reuse this. Hold down shift. If you want to put it somewhere else. And another one I got for you guys, I don't know if you know this one, just highlight everything. You want to move it, uh, move the notes, hold down shift, and use up or down. That's how you can uh, move all your notes. Real simple one, but just thought I'd add that in there. But yeah, man, that's all, that's all I got for you guys, man. I could do some more if y'all want a part two. Let me know, man, if you made it this far. Uh, like the video, comment, subscribe. Let me know what type of videos you want me to do. Until next time, man. Signing out.